On the couch here, of course, we have uh, over HNN Overtime Sienna Pilatin and Kyle Chinen. Good morning. Good morning, Billy. Now, homecoming is always a time where we got retro jerseys. Mm -hmm. You see people that you haven't seen in a long time because we all share the same thing. We love sports and football, right? Yep. So, f homecoming, a good thing, right? Yeah. I'd say so. It was, In yes. general. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I, I'd say the game day experience that was you helped great. provide mm -hmm. and that um, the crew over there provided was top notch. But I really wish, I think we all hoped and wished that the game itself kind of shared that product of, of good vibes. Okay. Um, the Rainbow Warriors um, falling to San Jose State 35 to nothing last night. And it, it was kind of, it was just odd. You, you always know that this season, uh, this season in particular, the offense takes a little bit. It takes about a quarter and a half to get rolling as far as getting the run and shoot going. But once that quarter and a, quarter and a half mark hit, it still was those three and outs, three and outs, in, um, incomplete passes, no, no run game, things like that that we keep talking about. I think it feels like a broken record at this point, week in, week out, right, C? Yeah, Billy, it was kind of a rough night, kind of a spooky one. The last time yeah. Hawaii got shut out at home, I wasn't even born yet. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it was kind of a, a weird night. And for the offense, just not being able to even get Shipley in field goal range is crazy. It's I mean, crazy. I know the offensive line, they didn't really help Shaker out at all last night, four sacks and pressured on almost every play. Mm -hmm. I was telling you earlier, Pofeli Ashlock, his number one receiver, was only targeted twice last night. Yeah. So nothing would really get going. In fact, yeah. our leading rusher last night was kicker punter Matthew <laughs> Shipley off of a fake punt, fake punt for 17 yards. So it was just really kind of strange. Okay, yeah. we got about a minute left, but yep. the defense did good. Quick. Yes, yes, I will say a shining spot of this game was the defense, and they held on early. It was only 21 to nothing going into half. And they were making big stops like you see there on screen. And, you know, for a team that's been criticized for not being able to stop the run, was able to shut down that run game fairly efficiently last night. They got a couple takeaways. Air Force, oh, excuse me, Nevada coming up next. Yep. It's an away game. What do they got to do? They really need to watch the film. Timmy Chang told us last <laughs> yeah. night. He couldn't really give us an answer. He just said, we need to watch film, need to watch film, need to break it down, need to figure this out and figure it out fast. Okay, if anybody can figure it out, though, you know, Timmy came from Nevada. He knows that's yes, true. He does. There. He does A little bit of a office. homecoming, yes. if you would, for, for him. him yeah. yeah, okay, all right. Thank you very much. Thanks, now, if Billy. you want more, go listen and go watch their podcast. It's available on Hawaii News Now. Once again, H&N Overtime. Thank you very much. Thanks, thank, you, thank you, Thanks, thank you, thank you. Stay on the couch here. What we're doing is we're going to add Annalise we got one more coming up for you right here on Sunrise.